So the first area that we're going to cover with Vim is navigation. So getting around your project. Uh, if you're working of any, uh, in a project of, of any size of consequence, then you've got a lot of files. They're all over the place and it can be hard to find things. And Vim doesn't necessarily make that easy at first because even just using the arrow keys don't work like they do in any other modern program. So it takes a little bit, bit to get used to. Uh, but once you get used to it, you can get around incredibly quickly with them. So we're gonna take a look at my dot files first, uh, which I have on GitHub and I will link up in the video once it's posted. Uh, but for now, let's just open up my, my local dot files. So we're gonna go tab E, which is creating a new tab. Um, my dot files, which are, oop, there it is. Uh, nope. See, I said that uh, you're gonna see me type and I make a lot of mistakes. So dot files dot vimrc. All right, so the first thing you need to, that, that's important to get used to with vim is using slash to find stuff. And I wanna search for uh, actually my mouse settings. So I'm just gonna hit the slash key. And you can see in the bottom left that I got a little slash instead of a colon and I can just type mouse and it actually uh, searches as I type, which is just really, really nice because it just gets you to where you're going that much quicker. So this is a, a handy little thing that um, might surprise you because this is a command line based editor is that you can use your mouse. I've actually got this enabled. Um, I don't understand why it's mouse equals A, but the, the nice thing is that I can use my cursor to do this stuff. I can select text. I can scroll. It's really, really great. Uh, it's stuff that any other editor has. And a lot of people who are new to Vim are turned off by the fact that it doesn't have a mouse until you do this. Um, it's just not on by default. So you just gotta do that. You could also hit set mouse equals A in uh, the little command thingy down here. I, I think it's got a name, but I'm just calling it the command thingy. Uh, in any case, I use the mouse because I'm not trying to prove anything with my workflows. I just want to get stuff done. So that's how you enable the mouse. And also the nice thing is that you can actually just click on stuff. So um, I can click on the different tabs, which uh, we'll cover in a second. And uh, you can just easily close them with a little X up here. And since we're talking about tabs, tabs, they're great. Modern editors have them, so does Vim. Uh, you saw me uh, a moment ago do a thing where he went colon tab E or tab, but you can just create a new tab very easily. Um, and you can add them all day long. I've got a key binding, which I'll show you in a second, and you can just close them. You can move them around, have them move. Now we've, you know, moved it to the first position here. Um, you could, uh, move it to tab position. Uh, I don't know, two or three, two, and now it's over here. Um, so it's, it's, you sort of, you have to get used to the commands. So uh, the way that I've got that set up is I forgot where I put it. So I'll just slash search for it. See, this is the thing is that I don't remember anything. I just know how to find stuff. And when I remove that cognitive load from my brain, then I can focus on the stuff that I actually care about, which is actually problem solving. So point being is that uh, I've got tabby or tabe um, uh, bound to control K. So you might notice that I've got H, J, K, and L uh, bound to my tab keys. And it's just that much less cognitive load for me to get around. So if I use H, J, K, and L to move around in a file, I can also use similar semantics to uh, get around my tabs. So I do control H and L to move around my different tabs. And uh, I mean, it, I use just command uh, J to close the tab because it kind of looks like a down arrow kind of, and uh, K to create a new one. And I can create new ones really easily. I can tear them down. Uh, my workflow, I tend to create and tear down lots of tabs all the time, but because it's so easy, um, I don't really think about it. It's all kind of tied to the muscle memory of just the HJ candle workflow. Uh, so that's tabs. They're great. They uh, work like any modern piece of software. It's just that with Vim, you can customize it and I have bound it to these key bindings.